where we are? I don't know where we are, but I'm Mike from Perfume Genius, and we're right here. <laughs> well, I took piano lessons since I was little, uh, since I was like seven. But I didn't start making songs until like four years ago, maybe. I was trying to take everything seriously, and it was too hard to try to do everything at once, but I think with the music, like, I was able to kind of distill bits that I wanted to heal and, like, be better at or more healthy into making songs, I guess, which I didn't know <laughs> that I was, I could do that, but then I did, and then I got really excited, and I kind of forgot about everything else and just did that for a long time, so. It's called Put Your Back Into It, which I guess some people don't like that title. <laughs> I thought it was kind of badass. Um, I still do. It was the name of one of the songs that I wrote. And then I p purposely made like an N in the two, kind of like Sinead O'Connor's Nothing Compares to You. Which I just found out that Sinead O'Connor smokes crack. Now, she didn't then, but that really disappointed me. <laughs> I thought she was just naturally crazy. And I like naturally crazy people. Um, anyways. <laughs> Why did I call it that? I like that it could sound nasty, like people could take it sexually or they could take it as to put like effort into things. In a video. <laughs> um, it's for a song called Hood. In a video. It's pretty crazy <laughs> for me. Um, <laughs> well, I bought like a Freddy Krueger glove online for it and like a wig and I had some really weird ideas for how it was going to go down and it could have been ridiculous and I don't think it is. <laughs> it's just really tender and it's pretty gay and weird and that's what I wanted so <laughs> yeah. Initially like when I started making music the, I wanted to bury my voice underneath everything. Um, and I still kind of, that's like my instinct to do that. So I wanted to make sure I didn't do that at all. Um, a lot of the music for some, you know, even the stuff I was talking about, I wanted to make sure I went kind of against my instincts to, to be embarrassed or to hold back because it's maybe too, I guess, sappy or genuine or something. Like, not that I can really gauge how genuine I can be. <laughs> but I wanted to make sure I even if I didn't feel confident that it sounded purposeful. Well, and I didn't, I didn't listen to new music when I was writing, and I haven't for a while. Um, and when I started thinking about it more seriously, I like the idea of having old sounding music and old soul music and hymns and stuff where maybe I connected to them, but they weren't, maybe someone like me wasn't there when they were being sung or written, you know? <laughs> And so I like the idea of making music like that or referencing that, but with talking about things that maybe weren't in that music back then. <laughs>